Frustration is something that we all encounter at some point in our lives, for whatever reason. But we don't need to take it lying down. Our next story is about a woman who just wants to work. Twenty-five-year-old Nazrana Ali is always up well before sunrise. Sunday lunch yesterday. On work day, she needs to be up by 5 a.m. in order to say her prayers and get herself prepared for the day. My daily routine involves waking up at say about 5, 5.30 sometimes if I'm feeling a bit lazy. And um, I, I'm, I'm a Muslim, so I pray five times a day. I start the day off with my prayers. And then I, I, I take my medication and then I leave for work. Nazran is a teacher's aide. It's a job she fought hard for. Her dad's rap that she's found her passion and he loves to hear how she's going. What's up? He drops by most mornings for a cup of tea before she heads off to work at Papatoe Toe Intermediate. I'm helping with the kids in a class called the Language Centre. Um, it's for kids who've just recently come into the country and they've got barriers with reading and writing and spoken English. So how many kids are you looking after? Today we've got about four or five students in one lesson. Teaching wasn't Nazrana's first career choice. So you enjoy teaching or...? Yeah, I enjoy it a lot. When she left school six years ago, her dream job was in tourism. So you should have done a teaching course instead of doing that travel thing, eh? Yeah, but... Oh, well, here I am now with the teaching, so... I did a diploma in tra travel and tourism, and uh, that went really well, but then when it came time to get a job, it was really difficult because the disability barrier, there was discrimination, and I was employed briefly, but then after a couple of weeks they told me that I wasn't suitable for the job because they needed someone that could go and get, you know, coffee or muffins and um, run upstairs to get things and but they hadn't told me that when they had employed me which is a bit of a bummer. Nazrana feels she was discriminated against on two counts. The first was due to her disability. She has brittle bones and a heart condition. But she also believes the fact she's a practicing Muslim had an impact. I wear a headscarf so I had uh, two things trying to stop me from getting a job. So, it was, you know, that was really discouraging, but that's just who I was and I, I couldn't change that. Nazrana came close to giving up her quest for work, but she didn't want to spend her life sitting around home. I stopped looking for a job altogether. My self-esteem went down. I, I was already enrolled with a couple of agencies, but they weren't helpful. <laughs> Eventually, an employment agency that specialises in working with people with disabilities brokered this job at Papatoe Toe Intermediate. Hi boys. I knew I had a lot of talents, a lot of abilities, and I, there came a point where I knew, knew I had to use it, so I thought I'd start off with volunteering. But I finished the English. Did you? What was the hardest maths? Nazrana's role at the school began as unpaid work experience. Now she's being paid for the hours she spends there. Did you read it out? But it's only for eight hours work a week. Yeah, hardly enough to live off. It's good to find an employer who can, um, who sees me for me and who um, looks beyond my disability. And I wish there were many employers out there who were as understanding. Nazrana's a real asset to the school. Uh, I this young boy's Hindi and gets one-on-one -on -one help from Nazrana. I can speak in Hindi and English and uh, say so the kids that come from India or Fiji, I can translate work for them. Nazrana's contract is only for two years and offers her no long-term security. But getting this job has really boosted her confidence. For me to have a job, it means that I'm just, you know, part of part of everybody out there in the world. You know, not just a person with a disability that stays at home. Nazran is now using her skills to set up her own business, tutoring and reading and spelling from home.